My name is Cornelius Ponins. Um, I'm the head of corporate and credit departments here at International Bank Liberia. Um, I am also an entrepreneur besides just um, my everyday work. I am an Episcopalian um, by breath, as it is in Liberia. Parents are Christians, and so you follow suit with your parents, which I don't regret. Um, so I am an Episcopalian. In 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 life, when you when you uh, encounter extraordinary people, um, you have extraordinary situations with them. You you get to expect extraordinary things. So I first encountered the author um, in one of my sessions. Uh, besides also being a banker, I lecture at the Graduate School of Banking. And he happened to be one of my students. And so when he first told me about um, the fact that he was writing a book, um, around here is, 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 is probably one of the most difficult things you will find for people within that bracket of life in that kind of youthful category to start um, writing books, especially books that deal with spirituality, books that deal with how individuals um, or how young people like himself and even people of my age, how they can lead their lives daily. A lot of us lack that. Considering the kind of person he is and how extraordinary he has been, uh, I've been following him since that point. Uh, I've been following him with his um, organization, The Rainbow, the work he's doing with young people, uh, the fact that he's going on, you know, other school campus preaching the word of God. So I think there will be, you know, a lot of in-depth um, 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 advices to young people, which I really look forward to. Because if you look around the country right now, you look around the society, you see a lot of um, young people who are actually not faring the way we expect them to. There is a proliferation of drugs abuse in the country right now. And... We believe that the more of these interactions that I had with these people, it will help guide them, you know, to the right area. How we get them to read the book is another issue, but I think having the book in the first place is what is a major step towards achieving a lot. There, there, there are a lot of things I, I could say to the young people of, of today. Um, um, I would say to you, don't expect anything because when you raise expectations you know people tend to be let down come with an open mind come expecting to listen to wonderful stories from those uh speakers that will be present um whatever they have to say to them just come with an open mind and expect that you would be filled by the time you leave the more people who are privileged to attend this program i think the more blessing that come to you as an individual that was one of the things that pushed me into getting more copies of the book. If I could buy 10 or 15 or 20 copies of the book and hand out to individuals who will read these books, even if there's one person from among 20 of them that say, thank God I had the opportunity to read this book, I think that's a lot. So if there were people out there who are interested in buying tickets for young people to come and be a part of this event, I would want to say to you that I think it's a blessed thing to do. It's it's something that you would want to do. Giving makes me happy. It it, it it lightens my spirit. So I believe if you sponsor um, a youth or a teenager, um, whoever it may be, to be a part of this event, I believe it's you indirectly getting that, tapping into the blessing and tapping into the blessings of this entire book launch and making this uh, whole revolution of getting the youth, you know, uh, introduced to how they live their daily lives in accordance with the way God wants us to live. I think that alone is, 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 is will be, you know, really marvelous. And, I, and, and that's, that will be my, 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 my um, message to those who want to invite more people. There is, there is absolutely nothing that's stopping me from being there on April 22nd. My, my calendar is clear and uh, I too am looking forward to it because I want to really read this book and understand what, because not just the young people of today, um, I'm a young man, not a youth though, but I'm a young adult and I really look forward to what's in this book and how we can use it to better our lives.